So, what are my thoughts about headphone cables? I guess equally number of people hate it. They think headphone cables doesn't make any difference. Um, there's still just as many people who think headphone cable actually does matter and it does change the sound. Uh, I'm definitely in the camp that I think headphone cables do make a huge difference when it comes to sound. And I have actually been making cables myself, soldering different connectors and uh, different heads and whatnot to uh, uh, to experiment for the best sound possible. Um, today I want to uh, talk about the the HDC 112A slash 1.2. So this is Audio Technica's own version of A2DC upgrade cable for their over-the-year headphones, and it's designed for on um, the SR9, the ESW 950-990H, and then the uh, Earsuit ES750, the aluminum ones. So it wasn't until recently that uh, Audio Technica started making their own connectors. Uh, they want to be a little off the beaten path, I guess, so they, they made their own connectors. I'm using them on my um, ESW990, this is the international version of the ear suit. Um, and basically, as you can see, uh, they're made out of wood. And ESW990 came with this cable. You can see that the A2DC connector and the... Um, 3.5 millimeter single end connector here, very standard. I was impressed by the sound of these headphones. Well, uh, also I did switch out the ear pads. As you can see, these are the larger ear pads that I had custom made. Usually what you'll uh, get is the small pads that is like so. These are the ESW9s. I have modified them to take MMCX connectors and also another one of my cables that I have connected. So these are the bigger ones. And anyway, uh, not to go on too much of a tangent. So sound wise, I was impressed by these. Obviously the ESW990 and the ESW series all uses different type of wood for, for, special, for their special resonant properties uh, like instruments. And uh, with the 990, this, uh, this is when I got into the game. So this is the latest version that I bought. And then I have picked up the ESW9 afterwards to hear what the original sound like. Anyway, with the 990, it's a lot more balanced. Um, the low, mids, highs are much more linear than the top heavy ESW9. So with this cable here, it works, the stock cable. Now, it, ha it does have a mic, which is very useful sometimes, but these are very difficult to drive anyway. Uh, they're about 60 ohms, and while well, not the most difficult, but I wouldn't expect them to have any respectable sound unless you drive it off of a dedicated player um, or, a, uh, or a dedicated amp. So, anyway, let me talk about HDC 112A. So basically what Audio Technica did is now that they have an entire line of A2DC headphones, they have made specific cables with balanced connectors for uh, their A2DC uh, headphones. Now Audio Technica, they have the, uh, the in-ear monitors and the over-the-ear headphones and they do use different, uh, even though they're A2DC, they use different connectors because these are actually recessed and they are designed to go into the plug here. You see the red part just disappears. Now with the in-ear monitor, that's not the case. If you take a look at these, this is made out of oxygen-free copper, uh, not necessarily the uh, OOC that everybody uh, wants to use for upgrade cable. But what really comes down is how it sounds like. That's, uh, that's why it's important. So how these are constructed, there are basically paracord-like sheath over each one of the cables. As you can see, there are two cables that feeds into the connector. Uh, the fork pole connector being uh, left minus, right minus, left plus, right plus, 
the four poles connects to two different wires already. So they're separated at the base. And then it's braided in a uh, spiral fashion all the way to the splitter. Now at the splitter, basically the cable goes in, it locks, and it continues out. Now this is the only Audio-Technica cable that uses the separate braiding technique because it's made for the bigger headphones. Now with the smaller headphones, the in-ear monitors, it does not do this because this could potentially get annoying when you're outside. Uh, I guess they figure if you're going to listen to it with over the ear, you're not going to have any problem snagging this onto things. And um, with the in-ear monitor, basically it's one solid cable throughout until the splitter. Uh, if you look here, the connectors, they are actually very well made. Uh, the reason why I say that is because they are actually not injected. Even though the uh, cord rubber on the bottom, those are probably um, pre-made plastic parts, the casing is still aluminum, and that makes it look very nice. In comparison with the original cable, as you can see, the connectors, this is completely just a plastic injection into a mold while this has many more complicated parts. And the connector on top, the A2DC connector, uh, it's the same story. So I was very skeptical about buying this cable because it's not cheap. It's about uh, 15,000 yen, which comes to about $150. Uh, I'm not really, I wasn't really sure on spending this much money for just a OFC cable um, because the things that I usually buy, um, there are and the cables that I make, they are they are either uh, pure silver, they're uh, OOC or um, they're OOC with uh, silver plating, and I do use a combination of to try to get the best sound possible. Now, uh, with the previous cable that I am using here, basically, I I have soldered aftermarket A2DC plugs onto this old cable of mine because this gives the most uh, sound stage and this cable here is actually made out of just uh let's see um one two three four it's eight wires uh four on each side of ooc so with this sound is very large but at the same time it's a little not as intimate but it was still an improvement over the original cable I started using these right away and I can tell you that I honestly do notice a difference immediately. I started listening to Sibelius um, Violin Concerto and in the first movement basically the violin, you can really hear the shrill of the violin in its highs and then you can feel the vibration in its lows whereas uh, if you switch to the original cable it doesn't really have that effect. I have on my player all of my settings running the same. I'm using a FIO X7. I'm using the FIO X7 Mark II with the AM3A um, amp and there is a native 2.5 millimeter balance output. So definitely there is a huge difference in sound comparing the original cable versus the uh, HDC 112A. So um, now there are all kinds of cable out there, maybe this might not be good for you. I've tried all kinds of cable with uh, um, with these headphones here and my biggest problem with them is that they're just so hard to get to sound right, uh, for my preference anyway. I have used uh, very thin uh, Arialis, uh, the Australian OOC cable, very thick, but it just made it really really muddy. So actually, it's uh, it's this cable here, and now I have resoldered it to fit my um, uh, HD6XX from Massdrop. I've used this cable. I've used a combination of other cables. I've used a uh, twelve uh, a twelve cable combination of um, OOC and silver, and this still it doesn't just quite sound right because there is an airiness with the original cable that came with the ESW990 that sort of is, I guess, special that other headphone cables doesn't give me. So with this cable, however, it is uh, there is definitely an improvement. 
And my reservation on the material of these cable actually is non-existent because this material sounds very good with these headphones. And then, you know, I thought and I thought about it and I realized that even though uh, there are many cable types out there, manufacturers try to, or the cables manufacturers make anyway, tries to go along the original path that their uh, their sound design is. So they, they wouldn't give you a cable that changes the sound completely, but only enhance what they originally intended for the headphones to sound like. So... Another thing with these plugs is that I think this was specifically designed for the SR9 and the e and maybe more so for the ES750 because of their uh, aluminum like silver color and I was very worried that it wouldn't look good with the uh, ESW990 because after all the ESW990 they're more of a showpiece than actually headphones um, most people buy these wood headphones just to hang them up. Uh, I'm glad to say that with this plugged in, it actually looks very nice. And when it comes to sound quality, basically highs are higher, lows are lower. You can really feel the air moving in the 40 millimeter, the 42 millimeter dynamic drivers, whereas the original cable just felt sort of flat. And so with this cable, I think that it provides much more musicality to these headphones if that's what you like and I think they are actually a must-have for the ESW990. I don't know about the uh, SR9 or the ES750 but I definitely 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 recommend you upgrading and of course if you're if you haven't bought into the balanced connection kind of thing then, then I'm glad to also tell you that I have used this with my desktop amp using a converter basically that converts from 2.5 uh, balanced into a 6 point something, 6.3 um, single ended plug. And with this, even with this, you can definitely hear the sound difference. So I can tell you that the sound improvement over the original cable is not only from it being balanced. And of course, if it's balanced, you do get more separation when it comes to um, physical measurements. Now, whether you hear it or not, that's a different story. All in all, I would really recommend getting the cable for the ESW 990 or your 950. And I think that this cable is definitely a worthwhile upgrade when it comes to its look, when it comes to its sound, and also when it comes, to, well, maybe not so much for value because it is, after all, $150. But if you're in this game of hi-fi, then you're pretty much willing to spend that money anyway. So anyway, um, that's my take on the... HDC 112A. If you have any questions, leave me in the comments. If you have any questions about my um, where I get where I get these oversized ear pads, also you can leave it in the comments. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.